China with friends, huh? um, working on a malaria diagnostic kit. Um, morning, everyone. You know, um, over the last the infectious disease that kills many people is malaria, which is caused by a mosquito. And this is a very, very tiny insect that we have seen, and other people have been trying to fight for all these years, yet we keep starting them every night they buzz around our head. And people are still fighting against this small mosquito. And as for the World Health Organization, um, a child still dies because of malaria every minute. And that's in the sub-Saharan region. Yet, um, a turning point in this fight for malaria came in the early 1600s, when um, missionaries were moving from Spain into South America. Um, the natives there had what we call the present day symptoms and signs of malaria. Yet they did actually know it was malaria. So what they used to do, what the missionaries used to do when they went into these places in South America where they had lots of malaria, they would tell the people to pound a bag of a tree called the Sincona tree. So they would pound this tree and create powder out of it mix in the water and give these people that had those symptoms like sweating, maybe say high temperatures, so they could drink and reduce all these symptoms. It was not until um, August 1879 when actually two British officers, that was Ronald Ross and Mohammed Bax, actually tied the mosquito to the generation and transmission of malaria. You know, we have seen a great change in the medications over all these years, starting from the Sincona tree that they were bang banging and then creating powder in the 16th century, coming up to when we saw that we need the chlorophyll and these better medications of today. But we haven't actually seen a great change in the way that they're diagnosing for malaria. We haven't seen a very big change in the kits that are being produced to diagnose malaria, yet the numbers are still high meaning that we are not there yet. So, the interesting thing, or the questions that we still ask ourselves are, why is it that people are still dying till this time when we have all these medications? Or why is it that people still have to suffer to get a simple diagnostic done? Um, I should say, born to a middle-class African family, you know, and having many episodes of malaria as time, as time goes on, all of us clearly hoping we came our hoping. So you could move out of home, you're not feeling fine, and you're going to take this diagnosis. So you could go to that most in most cases you go to the clinic nearby us, but in most cases you find that the doctors are not present, so they moved out, or maybe say there are long lines around, or you do not want to join these queues to do a simple malaria diagnosis. So I remember when I was a kid, about nine years old, and I moved into a clinic next to home. Uh, you know, as a kid, you feel all those freaks and so on. But the most traumatizing scene was when I was moving into the, the clinic and I saw a kid locked in their mother's leg, all fighting for a simple diagnosis. So only that could make us feel that, no, I think I'm not sick, I think I'm better, I should just move home and do something else and, and, and take any medication around. Because the truth is that when are medication <coughs> is readily available and people do their on medication, which I don't recommend. So when I saw that scene, that scene is still stuck in my mind of a kid locked in their mother's legs, trying to do this simple diagnosis. As time went on, um, because of these personal experiences, that's when we, me and, uh, and that team, ventured into creating a kit that can help diagnose for malaria, which we call Matibabu. Um, Matibabu is a Swahili word to mean medical center. So the, the, the vision we had as we were creating this kit is to bring the medical centers to the people, to make all these hindrances that make people stop from going to get better services in our community. So, so the way we are doing this is to introduce a kit that is not invested in diagnosis of malaria. And what and what it does is, it's a simple, it's a simple finger clip that you clip 
of your hand. No finger. And within 30 seconds or one minute, you know the result of your, or you know anybody's result. The beauty of a kid is that it's learning testing and it's, 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 it's an early testing kit for malaria. So the benefit of this kit to our society it enables early diagnosis. For example, a normal, that, that's a gold standard of diagnosis, uh, the microscope. It takes between 15 to 30 minutes and it depends on the person using the microscope because the levels of, uh, of, of it as a testing for malaria before from the experience. If, if, if a doctor has two years of experience, we will not get to know the least amount of malaria in some of this blood sample. So, and the blood, you know when they break, the sample is limited as compared to a solution that is non-invasive, that is a kit like Matipapu, that is doing a light sample of diagnosis. It has a light sample of this cell, and it can help you know the exact quantity of malaria that is there. But that leads to the saving of time. And the other point I'd like to talk about is that green technology. This is green technology. What I mean is, with this kit, you do not have the risks of saying maybe they're going to use uh, this infection to be like recently when a, when a lady was, um, a nurse was in prison because accidentally infected a, a, a kid with, a, with, a, with, a, with HIV. But with such green, green technology kits, we reduce the risk of having to reuse other medical devices. So this kit is reusable. Just imagine a new generation of such kits where a person does not have to rush into a hospital but can do a primary test of malaria from anywhere within a minute. Say you are at your office, say um, you're moving to work or anywhere and you can actually carry out this diagnosis. So we believe that together we can stop the spread or reduce the spread of malaria. But with such technologies implanted and being used at our homes, we believe so. such an, a big African problem that still claims like that an African solution can really bring it up and solve the problem of malaria. Thank you very much.